Hi, this is Sebastian calling from the Antarctica Legacy Crossing. I'm pleased to report that today, December 27th, 2011, at 1930 hours, Greenwich and Standard Time, my partner Eric McNair Landry and I, Sebastian Copeland, have reached the Antarctica Pole of Inaccessibility. After 53 days of travel from the eastern coast of Antarctica and without assistance or motorized transportation, this represents a first in the history of polar exploration. The Pole of Inaccessibility, considered the heart of Antarctica, is the most desolate place on the White Continent. It is the farthest point from any coast and regarded as the most difficult place to reach in complete autonomy on Antarctica. Until today, no team had managed to reach the POI without assistance. Eric and I used skis and kites to cover the 1,068 statute miles from the coastal Russian base station of Novo Lava Revskaya. At the POI, a bust of Lenin is all that remains of the Soviet era base, which has been buried by drifting snow since it was abandoned almost 50 years ago. For Eric and I, this represents the first leg of an 84-day unsupported mission. Our next stage is to open the never-traveled route linking the POI to the South Pole, setting steps where none have been before. To complete our mission, we will attempt the first ever east-west transcontinental crossing of Antarctica, ending at Hercules Inlet. You can follow the rest of the expedition at www.sebastiancopeland.com. We thank you for your interest and support, and see you on the other side.